Afternoon, everybody from Nairobi. Welcome to our EGM securities update. We've got Lawrence and Duritu with us. And guess what we're going to look at? We're going to look at the RAND. Huge move yesterday, yeah, Lawrence. Yeah. I mean, I think they entered a recession. Yeah, and uh, someone said from Ramaphoria to Ramacession. <laughs> um, and uh, it seemed to me as if it fell out of bed. Uh, so, so what happened yesterday is there was, you know, there was unexpected uh, economic uh, GDP data. Mm. And uh, for the second quarter, that showed that maybe the, uh, South Africa is in a recession. So that kind of, you know, shot the market up. Again, we have, you know, emerging market risks. So there are several things, reasons why this is happening. So there have been you know, several months of, you know, bad data from South Africa and also from emerging markets. Uh, so that, and, and also before I continue, is that you remember that I said that uh, previous that the rand, mm. you know, it's, it's, it's a, like a proxy. It's a proxy for, you know, emerging markets. It's very popular mm. uh, for emerging market funds. So obviously you're looking people going for, people kind of, you know, taking the emerging market risk and buying dollar and U.S. equities. So there's that migration of money back to the dollar. And obviously bad data, not just bad data, you know, uh, 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 recession data yes. is, is very bad for the rand. So we have that. Uh, so we, we found that you know, kind of like the the, the run is kind of like a punching bag. Yes. For for emerging markets. And don't forget, we got Trump with his tweets. If he wants yeah. to get involved with the white farmer situation. E exactly. So and also we have you know other issues that are you know mm. from China to Canada. You know Trump saying that you know he's okay with Canada not even joining in. We have Canada saying that you know they'd rather have a no deal than a bad deal. Mm. So we also have that. Uh, we have you know Amazon going at you know one Actually, trillion. Yeah. Yeah, so that means that is money going into the U.S. equities, that's right. as opposed to you know to to you know yeah, and also we have we have also uh, the only way that you know uh, emerging markets can kind of counter this is one is with policy. Yes, monetary with, policy. Yes, having better policy in terms yes. of you know how they react to this. Yes, and also the other thing is that you, you know this is a very illiquid market for emerging markets. Mm. It's a very liquid market. So, and the only way to make it more liquid is having more investors come invest them in, in, in emerging markets, which is not happening in the near future. So we, I think it was Goldman Sachs which kind of had a projection of, you know, of, of three more months of, of this happening. Oh, oh they're projecting three more months of yes. turmoil. Yeah, of turmoil in emerging markets. So we have Argentina, yes. we have, you know, we have Turkey. Turkey. We have Indonesia now, yes. they are, their stocks fell. Uh, and also record, uh, sort of 20 year low in the Indonesian rupee, yeah. Indian rupee yeah, record yeah. lows. Exactly. Yes. And all this is, we are, we are seeing a very significant. So this is the punching bag this for all of that. This is the punching bag for all that. Would you short it here? Again, like, this is not the way I would do it. No. Yeah, it's 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 too over. It's too it's overstretched. Too, it's too overstretched. Yes. Yeah, but uh, with more with more negative data, yeah. which you might see. Yes. Uh, who knows? We'd have to short it either way. Let me quickly now refer us to our portfolio, where Lawrence, I believe we 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 completely squared off all our positions. Yeah. Uh, Lawrence stepped stepped in and and took off some of our Nasdaq trades, which are highly profitable. Yeah. Um, before uh, the market came off. So thank you for that, Lawrence. We're up 1.5% yeah. in the space of, I think it's three weeks. Yeah. Um, I know folks look for much higher returns, but really if you can bag 18% annualized, we're going to be near the top percentile of hedge fund traders. Just to give you an idea, we're up 3,000 and a bit change, and we've been extremely cautious, Lawrence, haven't we? Really? Yeah, very cautious. We're, 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 not, we're not gambling, we're taking very considered considered positions yeah. what are we looking at next so i was thinking maybe we can make a trade on on using technicals a yes. very short term trade yes so maybe i was thinking on maybe going pound usd or euro usd yeah see if there's anything there for us okay so what so let's have a look at the euro because we had a sale here that we took our money yeah we're now what 115 7. the problem with this too is that you know they're still Maybe I, I go short on the on the pound because it's I'm I'm seeing it's past this okay. support point. So let's go. But I'll be very 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 conservative on this. Okay. Just how many, how many, where's your stop? How much room are you giving yourself? So I'd maybe want to lose zero point five percent. Okay. Not even one percent. And again, if you notice, for us, we don't uh, the way we talk about it is how much I'm going to lose. Yes. As opposed to how much I'm going okay. to make. Yes. yes. So always know your downside risk is, is another lesson, I suppose. Yeah. So you're shorting the pound one lot, is that correct? Yeah, one lot, and I'll take my zero point. Okay, let me go short in the euro dollar, but I'm going to be give it more room than you are. <laughs> you want to short it there? I'm going to short it at the market. Okay, sorry, let me add. But again, my stop is way above one seventeen fifty, please. Okay.
So really, folks, it's very easy. This is the actual system that EGM use, and this is the, the kind of uh, data points and information that you can extract from the system. So again, we went completely flat. We closed all our positions, but we've come back in with a couple of, uh, I would call them more trading positions, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're just there? Yeah. Almost, uh, okay, almost let 1%. Me go. Yeah. You're putting my stop where? Almost 1%. Okay, fine. One yeah. percent. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, great. Thank you for your time. From next week, it's serious money. Yeah.